What is up everybody, it is Aug here, back with another video. I'm gonna to try to keep this one short and sweet, but basically I wanted to test the Stockades pool after the AOE cap. For those of you who do not know, the TBC AOE cap went live on the beta, so I wanted to go through and test every single one of the AOE pools with that AOE cap. The AOE cap, for those of you who do not know, is basically you're doing one-tenth of the damage with any direct damaging AOE spell. Ground effects such as Consecration and ground effects such as Flame Strikes Dot are not affected by this. The idea there is that the Consecration ground effect is going to be useful for tanking, and so I think that's why they didn't nerf the ground effects themselves. Regardless, those are not nerfed. Blizzard, though, Kona of Cold, and Blizzard are both nerfed. Interestingly, Arcane Explosion doesn't look like it is nerfed. And so Arcane Explosion allows for us to actually still do a lot of these farms. If Arcane Explosion was nerfed, obviously we'd have some issues with this if we couldn't Blizzard, if we couldn't Flame Strike Kona of Cold, and we couldn't, you know, just Arcane Explosion them to death. Fortunately, though, it does look like we will be able to use Arcane Explosion. Unfortunately, I actually had my first death of any of these boosting attempts in Stockades, ironically enough. Reason being, well, I kind of pigeonholed myself into the corner here. So that kind of got me thinking that we might have to change up our strategy a little bit. Basically, what I think we're going to have to do is limit the number of mobs that we kill at one time. And so I actually break up the stockades into four different pools. It still doesn't take long. Overall, it's about six or seven minutes, so it's not like it's a bad farm. Still very quick to do. That's without Zanza as well. But I think that this will at least make it a little bit more safe than the alternative options. You could also try to go for a Blizzard strategy, but it just... I feel like this is going to be a lot better for a lot of people to do. Now, whether or not you're for or against Mage AoE farms, I completely accept your opinion and understand where you're coming from. I want to make these videos though, because I think that a lot of people really enjoy these farms. And I think that a lot of people see them as an integral way to either earn money in the game or just as part of the game and they found fun in them. So I wanted to go through and actually test these farms to find ways for people that they'd still be viable and to go through and make sure that they would still be viable. And so that's why I'm doing these farms. After you get through that first pool, I go down the left side, I pull the entire left side. Now, the reason why I'm pulling more of these mobs is because they don't actually stun or they don't stun much, where the other side stuns a ton and you're constantly getting knocked down. So you can't really pull as much on that other side. And that's why I break it up into two actual pools. So the first pool is just going straight down the middle, aggroing up all the rooms on the first part and then the end hallway room. This wing, this wing, I just go ahead and aggro the entirety of the wing, blinking through the mobs to try to avoid stuns as much as possible. Definitely is going to be, you know, a little bit of a close call, but this is also, again, I very, very rarely come into stockades, so I think you probably could do a lot better than I actually do in my runs. And the one thing you do need to watch out for, though, is you need to remember that Flame Strike Kona Cold will not just kill all the mobs. And so you're definitely going to have to get used to kiting with Arcane Explosion and grouping up mobs like this. I probably could have used Block there, but instead I just kited them around with Arcane with Kona Cold. There you can see Arcane Explosion being hit by the AoE cap on the individual mob, where I only did, you know, about 300 damage instead of about 600 with Kona Cold, which I would do right there. Here, though, I backpedal while casting Arcane Explosion. The reason why I backpedal is because leeway is limited when you are backpedaling to about 50% of its normal leeway, which means that mobs that are further away cannot hit us when we are backpedaling as opposed to if we were strafing away an arcane explosion. So that's why I switched over to backpedal right there to basically limit the number of the, the damage that I was going to take. After that pull, we go to the other side and I actually just pull these four rooms and AOE them down first. Reason being, you actually get knocked down a lot on this side and I do not, there you go, right away. And I don't want to pull too many because in the event that I get knocked down too many times, lose my shield, lose some mana, I probably won't be able to take out the mobs. So I try to rely on Ice Barrier, run into a wall here while I'm, you know, not paying attention. <laughs> and uh, eventually we get we get to pull those mobs and kill these mobs as well. Definite recommendation is to AoE kite away with Arcane Explosion. Drop down that initial Flame Strike Kona Cold though if you can, just because that Flame Strike Dot, while you do have them slowed, is going to add in about 500 damage, which is the equivalent of about two Arcane Explosions. As I said before, the Flame Strike Dot is not nerfed, so you can see it ticking for about 95 every single time. Pretty easy to get down those mobs. And then it's really just the last room, just rounding them all up and AOEing them down. So Stockades doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. Overall, it looks about seven minutes even after the nerfs. Doesn't look too, too bad. Honestly, though, Paladins are going to be kings of Stockades. Paladins, especially with the new Consecration spell power coefficient, 
they're going to fly through this. If you guys didn't know, the spell power coefficients are also updated. Consecration is now 95%, and Blizzard is roughly 95% as well. Real quick, I wanted to run through the spec for stockades. Now, again, I'm not an expert at stockades, but thinking through the spec, I ran through a little bit of unique things here because part of me wanted to go for Arcane Impact to do a little bit extra damage to the Arcane Explosion since it is so much of our damage. But another part of me wanted to go Water Elemental for the safety concerns. Being able to pop a Water Ellie and Nova the mobs behind us might honestly prove to be really, really beneficial while we're running through so we don't get nova or sorry, don't get stunned too much because the mobs are nova So I decided to get the Water Elemental, go all the way down the Frost Tree. We're also then able to get 5 out of 5 Arc Arctic Winds, which is really nice to be able to pump out some extra damage uh, with Kona Cold and things like that once we get a couple of the mobs down. Icy Veins can be very nice when we're trying to get off the Flame Strike, Kona Cold, going into the mobs. Everything like that, everything else is pretty much standard, you know, Shatter, Ice Shards, etc. 